Hey guys, uh, welcome to part four. Been a day or two. So anyway, uh, I've got this little piece cleaned up. Got a gasket sitting in place. I'm gonna start putting this side back together. So, uh, uh, appreciate y'all watching the previous videos and be going through this motor. Uh, every little bit helps. So uh, I hope whatever I'm doing, it's there's some part of this that's, uh, what am I trying to say? That inspires you to tear your motor apart and fix it. It ain't that bad. Okay, we got that one in there and I get the bearing. So, bearing goes in there. There might be something else in there. I'm forgetting something. Hi, <laughs> hey, sorry about that. I had to take a pause for the cause. So, anyway, I pulled out some paperwork from CHP on uh, stuff in there. It's been a minute. So, anyway, let's get this thing put together. Uh, goes in there. You got this little spring. This little doodad, bow tie, and this. So, setting that down. All right now, let's do not forget this. This is our oil, oil screen. And it's it's got like a wedge shape in here, and this is wedge shaped. So, this side is flat. This side looks like it's been cut. And just studying it, I believe that's the way it goes right there. So, uh, listen to Joe Pesci. I don't know if y'all knew Joe Pesci's scene. But anyway, let's get this put together. I had a bearing land here. Oh, here it is. That in there like that and then we put this spring and a little this little piece has a roll lip on this side and it slides right over the spring like do da da do da spring goes in there And anyway, that's the way it goes. This has got like a up and down, up and down, and it goes over it like that. And uh, just slides right over that. But anyway, you've got to place this on there to keep that aligned. And it's so it goes in there like that. You can get it off to the left or the right too much. But anyway, uh, this lines up like that. And there we go. So let's, I'm going to put a little oil on that. And uh, we'll get the gasket out. 
and uh, we'll have it. I'll have it in home stretch of putting this cover on. I've got the cover cleaned up, pretty spick and span, and uh, everything looks swell on that. Okay. Okay. We got the uh, cover. So this is the. If you see, you got this part down here. You can't do much with it. It just stays there. I've never taken any of them out. I've never had any of them leaking. It's not so much uh, a working, moving part. It just stays there. So, anyway, let's get this thing on. And we make sure that our dowels, our hollow dowels, but anyway, they go down there and line up. Let's not tear the gasket up too. I don't have to. But anyway, I don't want to have to dig out a new gasket. Get that in there. down there nice and easy like y'all got y'all got a grip on what you're looking at could be the shifting arm thing in there it could be this but uh we get it we get it yo diggity Let's uh, let's get some screws and just hold it together, cause it's just gonna get painted. Then I'm gonna put the take those out and I'll put the shiny new brand new screws in it, and we'll be uh, doing all the good then. Anyway, let's see here. Let me put one right there. Yeah. I think for myself. Oh, what a wonderful day. Every one of them got chunked in here. See, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna stab a few of these screws and uh, bring you right back. All right, I just went ahead and knocked all the crud off the heads and uh, just ran them up, put them all in there, ran them down. Uh, I'm gonna take and uh, trim this gasket off. It's just you know what do you expect for Chinese aftermarket? Uh, you know it's just it's not a perfect match from Honda. I'm not gonna pay Honda price to get gaskets on there that'll work. But I did trim some on there the other day. And 
I, I quit. But, you know, just a regular Zacto knife. Uh, I like using these little things. I got got to my Harbor Freight for like 35 cents a piece on sale. And they work really good. They're flexible, cheap, throw them away when they're run. So, anyway, uh, I get that done and uh, I'll bring y'all back. Okay, guys, it's been a minute. Uh, just had to take me a little break. The reason like that, I got the trimming gasket off and nicked the end of my finger. Got a little blood here and there. Uh, the gasket. Uh, let me zoom in on that. Some places it just looks. Because it's green, it looks. But for all all intents and purposes, some places I couldn't trim because just the overlapping case halves, uh, areas that are just hard to get to, or just and, and f for that, so.
All right, it's the next day, and uh, what we talked about is the next time you'd see this cylinder, it'd be all nice and painted. I took the liberty of putting the rings on the piston, got them uh, opposed from each other. I uh, put the circle clip in the back. Uh, ready to start to try to stick this on. I need to get the gaskets and the little O-ring and, and put them up on the engine. So let's do that. Get y'all positioned. Okay. Here's our uh, gasket, our jug gasket. Goes in this orientation this way. I haven't tried to test fit this yet, but I think we're going to do good. It was just like that. Uh, and we got to open up these O rings. And what we're looking for is these square edge o-rings they have a square edge to it and uh, we need to put a little dab of grease on those and so those can kind of stay in position but right now I'm just kind of looking to do the cylinder put the cylinder in place we have got that on there and that's holding So what I'm going to do next is seeing how you, you pre-install your piston into the uh, cylinder. You leave it sticking there just enough to get the ring started on and staying in there. You leave, leave it poking out so you can put your wrist pin on. Get it in there like such. With my big head in the way. I put a little grease on the wrist pin. Remember, this stuff will just dilute and go away. So. There we go. Alright, we got that in there. So, we got to get the uh, clip into the piston. Now that can be a that can be a terrible experience. You just kind of start it and roll it in there, I guess. There you go. There. I like to get the opening of the clip and the opening right there. Just so I know I got 100% of my, the clip and 100% of the groove that I have available. So that's the way I like to do it. You can just Grab that center piece if you're going to take one out. Kind of turn it. Turn and pull down. you figure it out. And uh, get that out. So I'm going to push it down. And uh, there we have it. Put it all the way down. It doesn't seem like it is, but it is. There's a bolt that goes right there. We'll get that in. I've got to uh, go over and assemble the head as much as I can. I, I got to put the the cam in it, the rockers, set my valve guide, uh, valve gap lash on it. Uh, the little cap on top. I have I forgot about 
clean it up and sandblasting it so I'll look look into getting that done and uh, that way I know it's complete and we can put the cam cam roller in here with a cam chain roller in here set the tensioner but I'm not gonna worry about setting the tensioner until I get all that routed in there and around the and we just mock up the timing we're not too far from getting it out and running but uh, the way it stands we're in a home stretch so anyway I did notice I got a little bitty tiny green square edge o-ring and uh, I'm not too certain where that goes right now I may have just missed it somewhere it could be an extra for a different type maybe like the four speed the H model might might require that so anyway I've got to get the head done and uh, we'll be back on that shortly all right been a minute I got some things cleaned up uh, top cap for the here uh, I had it a minute ago <laughs> but don't need it quite right now uh, sandblasted it I got this sandblasted looking good did it hit it with a wire wheel smooth it up a little bit so what we, the biggest part what we got to do now is get the camshaft in and Let's see if y'all can see. You see how it looks like Mickey Mouse? This first hole. Alright, that's so you can pass your camshaft in there. With your lobes. Your lobes are going to have it spread. Hang on. Alright, sorry about that guys. <laughs> things happen but one load goes on one side one the other no other way so what I'm gonna do is take it back out and I'll put some a little grease on there to get it started you can use motor oil your choice not the you I'll put some back here in this hole some up here in this hole I'm gonna place some on the camshaft. It's just all it is, just to help get it started. I'm not caking it on there. I'm just giving a nice, nice film so this thing doesn't start off dry. Just remember, it's gonna take a minute for it to pump. Get the grease up in there. So. it will go now once you get get it up there like that it's in place you load it up just turn it 180 down so that gets that in place uh so we can start putting our rocker covers in our rocker arms uh i previously marked these I just put a little shine on one for the intake. Uh, my hands are a little bit greasy, so they act pretty good for lube. The intake, this one exhaust here because that's my exhaust port. Just place it in there. Pin goes on my left hand side. Could be different if you got it placed or turned a different way. Come on. I don't know what that is. I'm going to bring y'all back when I figure that out. Okay. Got that. Got that. I guess I'm sticking it in backwards or something like that. But uh, 
Anyway, uh, I did notice something. Got a little dirt on there. Uh, these pins had threads on in one hole, not the other. So you can put a bolt in there and pull them out and uh, make it real easy for removal. So that's nice. So Anyway, there we go. That went in there. Helps her do it right. All right. That's all the way in. Let's get our exhaust valve. You see that? I put it in there the wrong way. Ah. Sitting here yakking. So, good time to demonstrate a bolt. Bam. Put this sucker in there by its apples. No wonder it went in so easy. Alright, here we go. Do it right this time, nut. Goober smoker. Okay, that makes that pretty easy having a bolt. Okay, so I'll just do it like that. Not a bad idea. Idea. Put that one in there. I'll put a little grease on the hole. Try not to get in his way. Anyway, let's get get coordinated here. You gotta get these pins all the way down in there. If they stick over to the right hand side of the engine, you're not gonna be able to slide it over the the studs. But it won't clear. So what I got to do next is uh, since we're in a top dead center scenario with the lobes down. We need to set the valve lash. I probably don't need to since I set them before. Uh, but I'm gonna try to anyway. Now what I got is these Honda, I don't necessarily, don't necessarily say Honda, but they're actually the nine millimeter and the little tap it adjustment thing with the hex punch in, in it. To, get on top of that that makes it really nice uh, I don't know if it's this wrench I had problem with this wrench the other day so I don't think I got a a nine anywhere else no that's not uh, let me run over to a box and get it in there it's kind of hard to see the one I'm after Just loosen that up I'll run it in until it doesn't really move back it up specs or no specs that feels about good maybe two or three thousandths so I'm going to put this on top Hold it. This might take me a time or two. Yeah. Still the same. It, that feels good. I don't know if you heard that tappy tap, but 
that one feels the same way, so I'm gonna leave it. Cause I messed with it last time I had it running, set it. So they shouldn't change. So we're good to go on that. Uh, I'm not gonna go off on a binge on, on that part. So that's installed. Now we can focus on getting it mounted on the engine. So let me get y'all uh, plugged in up here. Bring y'all around. Hopefully I'm not, I'm not in y'all's way. But uh, bring y'all up just a hair. Cheap. Cheap, cheap. Now I already took the head gasket put it on there I had to get my other dowel and stick it in the head and what I went ahead and put grease and stuff on the little square edge o-ring there so one thing I need to do now is uh, the roller goes in it uh, put it down in there Now let's get something to poke it down there. My fingers have taken plenty of abuse lately. I may be doing this wrong. Yeah, I am. Let's just come from this side. I used to have a piece of wire laying up here. But I'm going to hook it. But I got a pick. S hook, not S hook, but just a hook. Sometimes you may not need to have the head gasket on there. So we got it placed around the crankshaft. Something like that. Things get out of place real easy. So, it hoot. I've got to find that bolt that goes on. It's in amongst the stash. All right, here we go. And it takes a ceiling washer. down in there somewhere I think that's it nope and again it might not no it doesn't look like it not today so yeah that'll work we'll just take and open up the time and chain slide that down in there like that it'll It'll hold itself. Let's get it dropped down in there. Uh, there might be a little paint in the hole. Uh, there we go. It's all good. Put that in there. I don't want to try to scratch nothing. I'm going to take it out in a minute. I should clean the head up better. But not right now. Get that set in there. So, ready to slide the head on. Ready to go. Start that. Slide the head on. You want to poke the time and chain in there, use wire, use picks, uh, string, whatever. So you got, uh, there we go. Man, man, oh man. So, 
Cam Sprocket. Get that thing on there. Alright, it's got three holes and they're they only go one way. One side you can tell it's you know it's used. Has the impressions where your the bolts made into the side of the sprocket gear. And you got your circle up there for your timing. So anyway. You got to get the timing chain in there. Uh, one thing that can be of help is to put the flywheel on. Yeah, it can be a booger. Y'all know that it's a pain. the feeling in the tip of my finger since I cut it yesterday it just kind of like left trigger finger it just drive me nuts as far as being able to feel so we should have plenty I don't have that timing deal on there better than that turd. you turd I'll go in there you turd what the hell is the problem <laughs> laugh at me why don't you oh gee dude it's crazy man to tuck it back in that hole and get it over that's what I'm aiming to do I may just have to swear a little bit more or something there we go we're getting somewhere I just want y'all to know I'm having just as much trouble as y'all are having sitting there watching me Guess what? Put it in her bass afterwards. Oh, damn it. I'll go down in there. I got the gear. <laughs> damn. I didn't have this much trouble changing the chain out the first damn time. Now, let's do it like this. Hey, there you go. Stupid idiot. Okay. Got it. Now. Trouble with my oil pump. Oh god. Yeah, hang on. Hey guys, uh I encountered a problem a while ago. You might have caught a piece of it. I had, I stopped the camber, but uh I've actually ripped the other half the other side of the motor off to get to the oil pump because the drive drive gear and the shaft I could, it was just stuck and what it is I either put that in there wrong or didn't line it up or it's supposed to be this excuse me this way uh, I crushed them crushed the end of that piece 
why it's like that, I don't know, but uh, uh, rip it apart pretty quick. Of uh, course, the old pump housing is okay, but uh, I ripped apart just just for giggles. I got a 50 at 90 somewhere. It's a little 50 motor that was on a bike that I, I salvaged. It fell out of the back of a truck, so I got the motor out. But it has this on it that the original one doesn't. So what I'm going to do, because of such, I am going to install the this new style assembly with it that doesn't have this. So my drive shaft down in there, and all that will work out great. So I'm going to put it together with that. Uh, something I, I didn't know that I did. I caught it. Didn't try to uh, blow it off. So anyway, I'm going to put that together and uh, bring you back here in a little bit. <laughs> uh, Miss half avoided. I, I got the other side taken care of. I'll put back together. It's been about what 20 minutes so since I addressed that issue 20 minutes later it's all all remedied I'll put back together so where was we we were right here trying to get this gear in there and what it was just this, this gear right here wouldn't do that it was stuck that's what prompted that investigation. Let's kind of get this started in there. Somewhat in position. Get it over the camshaft. You can stick a bolt. Now this is the one that doesn't belong in here. So, what you want to do now, I got that one bolt just to hold it. I got to get that roller on right there. And make sure everything's checked out okay. It's fairly and a whole lot of sl uh, slop in it, so I'm hoping that's going to come out pretty, pretty good. Oh, where is that roller? All right, got it. Yeah, put this roller on it right here. On there. A little bit of grease. grease in the hole so we just pull that arm down I do I do declare done it I think before and maybe we gotta pull the yeah Yeah, I'm going to have to take the cam sprocket, loosen it back up. Always a challenge, I tell you. There we go. Man, oh man. I'm reaching back here behind and pushing on the back side of the camshaft the spark plug side to push it back over get that started back in there so we can stick check the mechanical timing of it 
of the engine. Going good. I'm just gonna run that down there. Just I don't want it to flop around. So we need to check the actual engine timing. Flywheel. Get. Back that one out. I use that as a handle. So, keys in place. We can stick the flywheel on. We're looking for top, which is right here. I am. It looks. Let me try to zoom in. My uh, dot is right there, and I should be down there with the gear. So I'm just a little bit off. So let's uh, get that adjusted. So I got to try to work this cam sprocket around. And get it all. It's sometimes you get it right on, sometimes you don't. It's, it's one of those, it's just, you know, there is a type of method. Try to, you may have to reach on the back of the camshaft and turn it to line the bolt uh, holes up. Uh, he's just trying to just have one of them evenings out here. So you know this thing's going to be a hell of a lot better than it started off with. Okay, that's good enough right there. I'm going to put it on top. Well, I actually went too far. So, let's, uh, Get the gear back off. Okay. I'm just trying to roll that chain half a link. Half a link back around. That's too much. Let's uh, get it on. I'll stick me a uh, pin punch back through the sprocket hole with the cam lined up with the top on the flywheel and we were right on the money. We are right there, dot, our circle dot, and our notch in the, the head. So what I did, bef did in between our the mishap a while ago, uh, I put the head bolts on, put the cap on, uh, and drew it down. So we would have it in a normal stat. Uh, normal state of mind that everything's going to be good to go so we need to get the bolts in the camshaft I'm just going to use this one it's a good bolt I was going to take it out but that, that's when I twisted off, like I mentioned in my earlier video. 
got to running that that electric impact there and twisting these twisting one of them off so I do have a set of three that are new but I, this one I hear is Honda stuff so I'm just gonna leave it I do got to put a bolt in here draw the head down tight uh, a few other cosmetic things uh, I've got these valve covers. I'm not going to use them. At least I say I'm not. I got a, I got several of the aftermarket chrome ones that I'm going to put on it. But I'm going to put the, I'm going to put a set of caps on it that I can paint it. And I got a cover on here that, that I use to put on when I paint it. I take it off and I put the one on there that I polish out. So. We'll be in high cotton then, my friend. So, all this is kind of done. I got to actually go through and we'll put the uh, cam tensioner, cam chain tensioner in there. But, uh, bring you back in a few. Okay. Uh, Camshaft gear is tightened down. And what we're going to do is we're going to install all of this. And we're going to put that in there. It looks like there's a longer spring or shorter spring that's maybe beefier and all this stuff. And we're going to get all that set up. So, here we go. You got this piece right here. Very important that it has that rubber plastic hoodie on the end of it. It's got a slope to it. It's like it's ground in or worn in. But that's actually how you kind of lock the rod down with your uh, adjustment hoodie over here. So it can go up all the way you just want to push up on there a little bit that way it doesn't back off you're not really wanting to put pressure on it too much or you can just you know put too much force on the cam chain and it destroys itself so there's two springs and the long one you can see it goes up in there first. Then the shorter one, it's beefier. Goes in second. Where is it? And you got this piece. Goes in there next. It's got a little, little relief cut in the center. So the spring doesn't walk away to the side, it holds it straight. Uh, this takes a flathead screwdriver. I said a flathead screwdriver. And start running it up in there. I started pushing on it. Didn't move there. I may be doing this wrong. Uh, I give just a little bit of wiggle room. I'll leave it like that. And then we got to put this piece on. Be right back.
Okay. I had to clean this up. It looked really bad. I'm thinking that this replacement O-ring goes on it. So that's down in the area that it could leak oil. So I'm going to pull that O-ring off. Pretty sure I can get it off. I'm pretty sure yeah, that's the same size. Now we figure that out. I tell you what, as many O rings as I put on in my days of work, sometimes the smaller ones suck. So it's got a jam nut on there. It's a two two different size threads so you run that down in there like such flathead screwdriver I said out of Phillips I just run it till it touches that's what I do it may not be the correct thing to do been a while since I read the manual and that'll just keep keep this from dropping down and had maintain a little bit of a little spring pressure on the uh, cam chain so that's practically done except for I got to put the plug in the bottom Lord only knows where I left that at. I think it is right here. Got the aluminum washer on it. Or is that for the oil? No, it's not for the drain plug. So that's going to be for this. I'm going to wash it off. Anyway. Put that in there like that. Okay, we need to tighten that down. I think I gotta use a Honda wrench. That's one of those aluminum ceiling washers. So it shouldn't leak. If it does, I'll have to maybe get one of those washers that has the O-ring inside of it that's embossed in it or molded into it. Uh, I've seen those at work. We don't have any for that size or whatever. So if I need to, if that leaks, we'll take care of stuff later. I'm going to go ahead and check that mechanical time and make sure we didn't lose anything yeah we're still on I'd rather be safe than sorry I tend to have too many uh, mishaps uh, I could put these put these ugly old valve caps on there I've trashed one of them I don't know where the hell they came from or what they're out of. I guess they're made like that so they look cool or they got some kind of cooling purpose. But yeah, forget it. Uh, let's see here. About what we have left to do is the stator assembly. And I'm not, uh, I don't have that quite ready. I kind of like to put a new one in it just because. But maybe I can clean the other one up and use it. But, uh, oh, let's, uh, no, we can't do. Let's put the other cover on the other side. Which is 
that one right there. We could put that one on. I do have the gasket for it. Oh, and see how the bolts. It's uh. See how the the long studs run through those holes that we put the uh, rocker arm pins in. So that's what I was talking. About. So let's get that get that cover on. Get that gasket. And one thing that's just funny, and, and I don't ever get it, all the other gaskets I got left are gray, but the case gaskets are, and that gasket right in there, we got three green ones. Why couldn't they make them all gray? So there we go. Where's that? Maybe that's wrong. It seems to be yes. It goes on a certain direction. So we got that. Uh, put them other screws in it. I got them. I got them. I say. I'm just over here wire weight on the head off on these. I ended up, that doesn't look so horrible on camera, even though I am going to take them out. So, anyway. These are all right for now. Put them in there. Remember that I, I will replace the bolts and retighten them with the impact thingy. So we got got the side cover. I believe I did replace that gasket, but uh, anyway, I do got to do some more polishing. I thought I'd be smart and polish it out a little bit, but I think the last thing I did, I sanded it, polished it, and sanded it again so it's not completely polished, but it's got to go on the other side, and this is a good gasket, so I think I actually had to replace it with a new one. Or an extra one I had, so this one's going to stay on it for the time. It will go on the other side. I got the long bolt to put in. Buff it down. So, what I'm going to do, I'll position the motor again. Get y'all set up. Uh, it's got these little key spot right there. And what it does, it lines up with that. This little post lines up between there. That's it. This right here, I guess it can help the crankshaft or the crank sprocket or whatever from floating. I guess. I don't know. But we also need to make sure we got a ceiling washer on that. So, I might have used it in the wrong location a while ago. So, that I did. That's why I need to take one of these off. Okay, take one of these off. It's supposed to be the copper. This one's fairly thick. Look, I, I, I'm going to replace all these caps too with chrome acorn nuts. They'll look a lot nicer. Uh, 
the long bolt. Here we go. So this is what we want. Put that on there. That goes on that side. I've got extra nuts. They're actually thicker. So they actually will. I will put another cover on here just for paint later. I'm just kind of buttoning it up for now. So I don't have to look at it. So let me go grab one of them other washers. We got other stuff to talk about. Uh, uh, we'll get to it here shortly. I'm looking for a box that I had a while ago. I got so much junk in here. Bunch of hunger bolts. Here it is. Get it over here right see. Okay, here's a there's a copper. And we'll just put that on there. That'll work. I'll just leave these under my work table here. So I don't have to go all the way over yonder. So I'll tighten it down. Uh, the nuts in the socket. Yeah, I put all four bolts. It, it has three acorn nuts and an open nut. Everybody's curious about that. Why? Did they do something dumb like that? That's why I take them off regardless. And I put chrome acorn nuts on them from Ace Hardware. Uh, for me, I just, I like to go and do this with some class and style and that's what I do. So, that's the one I was trying to put on. Let me see what I'm doing. Okay. I'll just kind of wipe this one up. Anyway, it ain't so grungy. It's pitted. It's ugly looking. They were working. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to put these on there. Unless they, I guess when they did the, the engine work last time, they, they lock, broke them. Uh, put these probably as a cheap replacement uh, one thing I want to do right quick is take this out don't worry the thing in the hoodie in there is not going anywhere this over here wire wheel on it like I told you I do Yeah, that wire wheeled it does look better. So I think it had no we did we crossed that bridge a while ago about it not having a me not having a washer for it. I seem to have put everything up. Anyway, I got to be fine. So, we got that done. Uh, I didn't want to, I got a box around here. I want to talk about some of the stuff I got in. So,